Hello boys and girls, today we are back at our ravine and it's time to dress up the uh, bottom part with the uh, long hinted at the uh, fog effect. This is something I often see in uh, videos of uh, Good Times with Car and he himself references uh, Iskal 85 as his uh, reference where he learned it, but I think the uh, basic concept is uh, is even older. So if we are looking over there, uh, we can see some uh, chests that I have uh, prepared. Let's go into this view. And for that we need uh, first we need to shave off one more layer at the bottom and uh, uh, create a dark backdrop uh, for the bottom or the layer and um, uh, this is I have collected some terracotta from our traders black and cyan then lots of uh, black wool and some uh, purple wool mixed in with some uh, magma blocks so uh, a bit of uh, mysteriousness then we have black concrete powder and then these boxes are uh, the one with the uh, glass and uh, so first things first, I will dig out the uh, one more layer there and then uh, place some uh, basic blocks and uh, I will show you when I have that done. All the ground floor is in and uh, at present it looks a bit like a patchwork uh, but with the uh, glass or fog effect applied uh, it should be uh, come way less intrusive so what I was hoping because the uh, fog effect basically uh, hides everything uh, underneath but with these uh, bright colored patches I hope that uh, they will shine through somewhat uh, so that we can have a bit of uh, of a magic feel there and the way the uh, fog effect uh, works is basically you place down one layer of glass and then there are two ways you could then uh, go ahead and place the next layer uh, with uh, with an air gap in between and uh, this will uh, create the fog effect um, and uh, you need at least five layers uh, like this so uh, with this technique uh, we would need at least uh, uh, ten, 10 vertical uh, blocks but what you can also do is uh, in here just place a different colored glass which uh, I will do and that will uh, basically uh, uh, half the uh, amount of uh, vertical space uh, we uh, actually need here and as you can see I prepared a lot of black glass to uh, cover here the ground floor so a lot of block placing needs to be done and it's with this uh, black bra uh, background and the floor it's sometimes not that easy to figure out where glass is placed and where not so I guess I will place lots and lots of blocks today. See you soon. So I'm now on the last layer and I 
still have a bit of way to go on this one but it is the last layer and I figured out this to be the best tactic to place the blocks skipping, skipping sideways while looking down uh, being not too forward to drop over the edge and uh, not too backward because then you place a block on top of it so it's finding the the right balance here and the one annoying thing is um, uh, when you run out of uh, blocks because uh, if you uh, scroll sideways like this and uh, you place the last block until you can react you are at three or four blocks uh, further like you saw just now so but i think that's a that's a, a minor uh, inconvenience so i will finish that layer and then we will see yeah there you so it's not always that easy uh, so I will place the final few hundred thousand, well not hundred thousand blocks, but I guess it's uh, a few thousand blocks that still need to be placed. And then we will have a look at the final result. So we are on our last few blocks and as you can see, if you look all the way down, it looks quite foggy. Not so much from direct at top, but uh, if you look um, in a more angled direction, it's quite foggy. Um, what I did not expect is that especially the uh, magma blocks are that prominent down there. Uh, I guess uh, I would end up with uh, uh, much more uh, foggy or distorted uh, view. But this might be due to the case that I did not do seven layers with uh, air in between but uh, rather seven layers uh, with different glass so um, that's that so we'll I'll put that down as a learning experience and from above here looks like there are some uh, some weird rendering glitches so let's try and land up here and have a look down yes yes that looks nice I think from afar this this is what what I was going for why is there an enderman down there how can an Enderman spawn on glass? Oh, maybe he teleported there. Um, but yes, so I think this came out pretty, pretty well. Uh, there are a few things that I learned. One of them is uh, uh, don't trade all your glass uh, with uh, villagers. You're probably much faster if you uh, grind the sand and smelt it down um, and also a, a, a few pieces uh, on uh, the construction of this thing but uh, I think from here on out this this will be a learning experience and the next fog effect will be even better so I hope you enjoyed this uh, shorter video and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye!